Hello Anna, uh, my name's Jim, I'm 35 and I live in Devon. Um, first of all I'd like to thank you for your platform to allow me and others to get our voices heard. Um, it's really encouraging to see the amount of subscriptions uh, rising each day. Um, and I'm making sure to share as many of the videos as I can with um, friends and family. Um, so yeah, first of all I'd just like to uh, speak about a few things that um, I, f I feel are important regarding this whole issue um, or many issues um, yeah the the whole uh, scamdemic um, the whole manipulation of humanity is uh, to me very clear uh, very clear to see um, and it's been that way for a long time but certainly since this um, this corona um, COVID-19 sort of uh, situation it's uh, really ramped up and um, you know it's becoming so so obvious now um, how the public are being manipulated um, and controlled and they uh, seem to be willingly going along with it at the moment um, although you know I know that there's many people waking up and many people that can see uh, what's going on but yeah what I want to talk about is um, a lot of the videos I've watched, uh, I really agree with them. Um, people are really sort of on the same page here. Uh, I just want to um, talk about the the government. Um, what I've found so far in, in, in the majority of videos is that people talk about the government and what, what they're doing. Um, uh, and that's correct, you know, but what I want to urge people to look at is um, who is the government? Um, because, for example, a prime minister comes and goes, you know, they have their terms, uh, you know, they, they come and go every however long. Um, the same with government ministers, some very quickly. Um, but those ministers are, are um, responsible for making big decisions, um, just like we've seen uh, with the COVID uh, scam. And, um, yeah, they, they, they're often unaccounted, uh, unaccountable, uh, because they just come and go. Um, we sort of hear the word government advisors quite a lot um, and I think that's key to it it's who are these advisors um, these scientific advisors or whatever other type of advisor they might be uh, it's often we don't hear their name uh, and I think this is a deliberate tactic because if the MP or Prime Minister is, is pulled up at a later date um, you know they can they can say that they were going on the advice of of a professional and expert or whatever, and I think it gives them some kind of uh, get out of jail card there, you know, with regarding to the decisions that they make. Um, another thing I'd like to talk about is, um, and this is something that I find difficult because a lot of people switch off at this point, and I think it's really important to be open minded and um, first of all to do your own research, which uh, many people are. Um, and many people are coming to a similar conclusion um, but who is who's behind the government and when I say that it's Prime Ministers come and go um, but there seems to be a constant direction that the government whichever party uh, gets in there's, a, there's a, a constant direction that it seems to go in um, and through my research I've looked at, at things like the Rockefeller um, Institute um, the Rothschilds uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, and many more um, and, and what I've come to find is that these institutes, organisations, foundations are um, so hugely tied with government, with, with policy, with uh, everything you know they, they seem to have their fingers in everything uh, and I don't think this is any coincidence you know I, I completely believe that through these organisations, a few um, elite, I don't like to call them elite, but a few people at the top, um, a small minority are controlling um, populations and controlling the world through uh, various governments. And, um, you know, that seems a lot for, for people to uh, take on, uh, take in at times because, you know, we, we've been sold this... Uh, this illusion that there's there's a democracy that we we can vote, which is something I never do, um, and we can we can make change. You know we can 
we can bring about change. Um, you know, I'm not that old. There's there's a lot of people that are a lot older than me, um, and I just ask you to to think about it. How many years have you been voting, and how much change have you um, seen? You know, and I mean changes in um, for the better. You know, all, all we've seen is a scandal, um, corruptions, uh, one after the other, and yet people still believe that this this whole system of voting someone in um, is I don't know. They, they believe it's the way to go, and I say it isn't. Um, and I say that. Once again, if people please do their research and look at these uh, these organisations that are of, often uh, funding and lobbying and um, putting their people uh, into top positions in governments and uh, NGOs, etc. Um, if you, if you uh, do your research, you'll see that there's, like I say, there's there's um, there's a trail, you know, and it often goes back to a minority. So that's what I wanted to say really because I totally agree with uh, the general consensus on this whole thing but I think sometimes people need to look a little bit further than just the government you know we could we could sack uh, Boris we could sack um, Witty you know everyone uh, who's who's sort of in power at the moment but if we don't look beyond that um, there'll be another set of puppets that are brought in and things will continue as uh, as planned so yeah, thanks once again for the uh, opportunity to have my say and to listen to many other people. Uh, it's really bringing me a lot of strength um, to hear what people have got to say. And uh, one of the biggest driving forces for me is um, I'm an uncle and I've got two nieces, two really young nieces. And um, when I look at them and I see how innocent they are, how wonderful, uh, so full of life and um, innocence. You know, and I, I think it's it's up to me to hand over um, a better a better world to live in. You know, it's up to me to uh, protect them. Uh, so that's what I plan on doing. Anyway, all right. Thank you very much.